If you only knew, I'd just throw some questions at you. Do you have an artist you'd most love to collaborate with? I would say Adele would be at the top of my <laughs> list, actually. Who would you say is the greatest living songwriter working today? Working today, that changes it's it It's hard up. today because... Well, you know, Bob Dylan just got the Nobel Prize, yeah. but I don't think I'd consider him the greatest living songwriter. I think Joni Mitchell was right up there. I think Carole King, I think Don Henley. I, I, and I think, think you. Oh, I think you're wonderful. Best piece of advice you ever got? Someone once told me, make no comparisons, delete the need to know, and uh, make no judgments. Song you wish you'd written? Over the Rainbow. He wrote that on Mulholland Drive. Did he? Yeah, he told me. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so looking beautiful. at a rainbow. Either, or maybe even John Lennon's Imagine. Man, not bad on. Song you're most proud of? That's what Friends are for because it raised awareness for AIDS research and uh, we donated over $2 million to AMFAR. Was there a song you were most surprised by its success? Yes. A song called When I Need You by Leo Sayer. Went to number one all over the world. I co-wrote it with Albert Hammond. I took about a half an hour to write a lyric. He came in, I didn't know him. And I thought, well, I'll, that's nothing. And then, you know, that was surprising. Last time you were starstruck. I think it might have been when I met Elizabeth Taylor. Who would you trade places with for a day? For one day? Does that have to be female? No. Bruce Springsteen. Most influential musician right now. Right this minute, huh? Uh, who is the most influential musician right now? I guess Adele, right now? huh? We Adele call is musician. right up there. And uh, Bruno Mars is pretty great. Yeah. And... Um, I mean, there, there are new, Beyonce. Is it harder to write for these artists today? Well, it's not harder. It's just you have less opportunity to because one, music has changed. Everything is up-tempo. Um, you, you couldn't get some of my number one hits wouldn't be hits today. That wouldn't play, be played. And right? music has changed. I mean, yeah. it's you don't make the same amount of money. It's downloaded. Mm. It's People don't go into record stores. It's a very different But you business. make money from the past, don't you? Yes. The songs you do. Were sung and played. Yeah, you do. Something on your bucket list. I'd like to travel more. I'd like to go to China. I'd like to go to Russia. If you weren't a songwriter, what would you be? God, I never ever thought about that. Maybe I would have been an, an author. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can write. Yeah. Something you long believed to be true or realized wasn't. That success doesn't bring you joy. It, it does not. It doesn't. You, you, Money it's, doesn't it's, bring it's, you joy. I, it's, no, it's, it's an it inside just brings job. It an absence of unhappiness. Well, it doesn't hurt. Right. You're right. <laughs> but but uh, true happiness has to come from the inside. Uh, tell me something people don't know about you. Well, they don't know that I was extremely shy. I Because I, um, I had a good facade. But like when I used to go on television to do shows when I had, was when I, when I was recording, I had to take a Valium before I even went out on stage. So were you the prettiest girl in high school? I didn't think so. I think I was the chubbiest with with the fat knees. <laughs> Watch new episodes of Larry King now Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.